system administration. Myself, Monster Wilson, I'm solution architect in Technotronic Solution. So in this video, we will gonna cover network management. Okay, so I'm very, I'm always very anxious to do such tutorials where I need to do some troubleshooting or something from CLI. So yeah, uh, I'm currently using Ubuntu, uh, Ubuntu 22. Uh, Ubuntu 22 comes up with uh, a tool called NAT plan. Uh, but there are some other tools uh, if you are using some older uh, older systems like Ubuntu 16, 14, 18. So you will definitely going to have a tool called if config. So by default in Ubuntu 2020, uh, 22, uh, NAT tools is not installed. So we can install, no worries. Uh, we can install it uh, very easy command, apt install NAT-tools uh, as suggested. Uh, for this, we can do uh, sudo. So yeah, uh, this tool will be installed very quickly. So let me just do the sudo first. Uh, so uh, this command, uh, if you wanted to see all the interfaces, uh, which only has the IP addresses assigned, you could uh, use a command called if config. So this will list all the interfaces that uh, I that has IP assigned to it. If any of the interfaces does not have IP, it won't list. If you wanted to, or if you wish to list those interfaces, uh, they don't have the IP addresses. So just add a command, uh, add a switch called minus A. This will list all the rest of the interfaces as well, with uh, either they have IP or not. So yeah. Uh, so another uh, another command which I used to use for networking perspective, uh, which is route, route space minus n will tell you your default routes or your routing information. So this command route space minus n will tell you how uh, how many routes you currently have in your system. So you can you can find your default route, you can find uh, per network routes, or you can add your routing as well. So we will see how we can add the routes uh, in the later video. But at the moment, we are just focusing the top of uh, these commands. So we have another tool called NAT plan. So NAT plan is the tool that actually equipped pre-equipped with Ubuntu 22, and that has some information as well. Uh, if you need some information regarding help, so you could use the net plan command with the help switch. So this will give you uh, a list of hints uh, which you can use. So uh, net help command tell us uh, there are some switches like apply, generate, get, info, IP, and set, or uh, rebind, and try. So these are the switches that you could use. Uh, so uh, we will be focusing on how we can assign a static IP address in our Ubuntu machine. So uh, let's generate uh, information, uh, net plan generate. So what this command will do, this will generate pre-configured information for our interfaces. So uh, if we wanted to see uh, the IP information using or, or the current configuration, with net plan so we could use the net plan info uh, let me see uh, net plan info uh, sorry not net plan cat this command will give uh, a current configuration uh, about my network interfaces so if i wanted to uh, configure um, you can say ip address to my machine so uh, using net plan so it's pretty easy what we need to do is we just need to navigate to uh, the NAT plan configuration directory and we need to open a uh, file 00. That's the priority 00 installer config. This is the default configuration we just generated. So, uh, in order to configure the static IP, first we will need to find our current IP addresses. Uh, for this, we will be using if config uh, 1020. This is our current IP 10.211.55 and dot five so let me just note down this ip somewhere okay uh, so uh, for this we just need to turn off the dhcp so this will turn the turn off the dhcp now uh we need to add uh information uh, about our interfaces like after the dhcp 
So uh, right down to the DHCP, we need to add some configuration parameters called addresses. And this is an array. You can assign multiple IP address within underneath. So we will be using 10.55. Uh, Let me see what is the uh, IP addresses. So 10 to 11155. <laughs> 10 to 11. Uh, 10 to 11. 55. 55. I believe this is the current IP. I 55.5. And slash 24. So uh, we can define the gateway addresses as well uh, with the uh, like gateway for IPv version four. So this is this will be our IPv version four gateway, and our gateway uh, could be let me see ten dot two one one dot fifty five dot one. This could be our gateway. We will cross check. Uh, we can we can specify the name servers. So name servers could be defined in this way uh name servers and then we need to add three more spaces to it and then we need to say addresses and this will be the array uh, we can call it 4.2.2 and uh 8.8.8 so this is our configuration we just did to apply the configuration we can use netline apply command so it says there are some error uh unknown key addresses in in the file line number nine so we can just navigate to line number nine uh a double d or e double s o yeah spelling mistake so it should be like this so we can just quit and save then apply again it says gateway four has been deprecated uh Gateway 4 has been deprecated. Use the default route instead. So uh, it's just a warning. Uh, we are not much worried about. So we can check if config. It's 55 again. If we change the IP address, let's see what happened. We're gonna assign 25. Let's see whether it's going to be assigned or not. We will do the apply again if we do if config. So our IP is got changed uh, with 25. So we can ping the internet as well see so we, we are getting response from the internet let's see the uh ns lookup as well we will be doing ns lookup google.com so we are respond we are getting the response from uh interface or and against the name resolution as well so i i hope this video will help you to configure the network configuration in your ubuntu machine uh you could use uh the nat plan in set to s as well and other machines as well other operating distro as well so if you like this video don't forget to subscribe and share thank you all thank you for watching this video